Are you ready to learn a really cool trick to make as much money as you need to get started in Software Incorporated? Stay tuned. Incoming customer detected. Keep your eyes open, boys. We need to have a serious talk. Hello my fellow entrepreneurs, welcome once again to Blind Gamer Plays. My name is Ira and I hope that you're having a very good day. We're in Software Incorporated today, I wanted to show you guys a couple of tricks that I've learned over the years in order to make starting cash to help your company get off its feet and uh, sort of get into the long game, so to speak. So the first thing that you need to do, of course, is to create your new company. The choices that you make in this section don't matter as far as the ability to make money at the beginning is concerned, at least with this method, but you can choose what skills you desire and you can choose the starting year. The later the year, the better with this method, I will say that. So um, I will start this one off in the 2010s. And the difficulty as well doesn't too much matter. You can do it with medium. You can do it with easy. Hard is harder, of course, but hard is harder for a reason. So this method does work. It's just it uh, takes more time to be able to do everything that you want to do. Let's get started. We're going to start off in Garage Incorporated because it is the cheapest to run uh, as far as the rental is concerned. And the team leader that you use uh, is going to be able to uh, function regardless of whatever you have in here. Uh, you could have the worst <laughs> furniture and the worst computer and all of that, that kind of thing, and uh, they will still function. Uh, but you can give them nice things if you so desire. What is important here is that you need to do a reception desk. And I know it sounds a little strange to do that this early in the game, but if you set up a reception area, it doesn't have to be too much, just the basic is fine. This is how you can start off getting a little bit of money at the beginning of the game. We will set up a couch for our guests to sit at. Although it can't sit there. <laughs> we'll move things around a little bit. There we go. And then come out of build mode and go into the manage staff and hire a receptionist. Okay. Okay. Now you have a little starting money when you first begin the game. As long as you don't take a loan, you'll be able to function for about 10 months worth of time uh, without doing anything to add to your income. But we'll go ahead and let the passage of time come. Our receptionist is here. And now that the receptionist is here, we will have the opportunity to get deals. Okay? Now, one thing you can do to have some supplemental money coming in is to do contract work. And you can do the basics. We'll do a logistics application here real quick. And there we go. We've got enough now that we can pay for that secretary for another couple of days or the receptionist for another couple of days. Okay. Well, months. Sorry. <laughs> now, here's where things come in. So we see that the receptionist is there. And now you can see people are coming in to start to make deals with our company. So if you go to deals. You can see right now it's nothing but print jobs and manufacturing. We don't want any of those. We're going to reject those. However, now that we also have a little bit of money, we're going to come back into our build menu and we're going to go to server and we are going to buy ourselves a server. Now we don't have the ability to afford this big one because that is a lot of money and we don't want to spend that much. We do have enough. We don't want to quite do that much. We're going to do a smaller one for right now. And we can put it up eh, right there is fine. Well, that'll block that uh, doorway, although it doesn't too much matter. <laughs> um, let's see. We need to put it somewhere. We'll just put it there. That's fine. <laughs> a little bit cramped for space, but that's OK. All right. Some more deals coming in. And you'll see that some people come in to make the deals. They don't like how your uh, setup is and they'll leave, but that's okay. That's okay. Another print job. We don't want that one. What we're looking for is hosting jobs or hosting deals. So we'll wait around till tomorrow. 
Okay, and now that we are in another day, we can go ahead and do another piece of contract work. Sure, we'll do an embedded system. That's easy enough to do. These low-level jobs you don't have to do too much with, but they're enough to keep things going. Okay, we didn't have any deals come in today. Okay, we can take another look and see which deals there are. Aha, and there we go, hosting. So, we can accept this hosting deal, make sure that it's on our server, click accept, and there we go. So right now, we're starting this day with uh, $23,000. Let's see how this hosting job does. Yeah, there's another one that came in, and it's another hosting. We'll go ahead and take that too. Okay, and we'll let this day pass. Okay, we'll let the day pass. We made a little bit of a loss, uh, but we had to pay our secretary. That's why we lost a little bit of cash. Okay, nothing but design and development that day. We'll go ahead and pass those. Okay, now you see that we lost a little bit less that day. Okay, so again, we can come in and do a little bit of contract work to make sure that we're getting enough uh, to, to pay every bill. <laughs> That's there. And there we go. Another set of deals came in. Design and support, we'll pass those. We could technically do a design work. That would be okay. That would be acceptable since our, our person has the ability to do some design. So maybe if another one comes up, we'll take it. And of course, the more reputation your company has, the more deals will come in. I know it seems a little strange, but this does work. Trust me on this, guys. So if we take a look here, you can see now that things are picking up on the hosting a little bit. You can see now this deal is starting to work out for us in our favor. The bills are covered and we made $5,000 profit without doing anything at all literally <laughs> just the hosting is coming in the more hosting jobs you can get as long as they don't overwhelm the server the more money you can make and we'll want to go ahead and call in a cleaner just to make sure our little uh, reception area is somewhat doable somewhat acceptable and there we go again we made a profit and we didn't do anything that day you see so this is with just two hosting jobs and, and it's all random of course it's an, a random number generator and my random number generating angel tends to be a little bit lousy sometimes uh, but we have had two hosting jobs come in and just with these two hosting jobs alone we are making a profit each month we don't have the ability to do the, to do the print jobs right now so We'll just skip those and we can go ahead and do a contract work again. The more of these jobs that you can do as well, the contract jobs that you can do as well, um, the more your reputation will increase and the higher your reputation, the more deals you'll have on offer. So that's just something to bear in mind. You can make a little bit of money off of them as well. And there are some months where no deals at all will come in. That's normal. Okay, marketing, support, and print job. That's okay, we'll reject those. And again, depending on how you have your leader, your, your founder set up, you could do support deals, you could do design deals, or you could do development deals just to have a little bit of extra supplemental coming in. But the main point is to do the servers. That's where the real money comes into play. And a development. This one could be doable. It's $38,000 a month, but um, we're probably not uh, really qualified to do it since we only have the one person. Yes, as you can see, it requires a fair amount of, of things. <laughs> so, and a manufacturing. So we're not set up for the manufacturing either. But you guys can see this is sort of the way that it works. The more of these hosting deals you can do, the more money you will make each month as long as you have enough server space to cover the hosting deal. Right now, just with those two hosting deals, we have 50% of our server taken up. However, we also have a very low-end server. 
So if we wanted to replace the server that we currently have by paying $25,000 to uh, basically upgrade this one, which we can do, oh, we have to do it in a different way. So we can delete this server, that's fine. And then go ahead and purchase it individually just because of the way the uh, thing was set up there. And we don't have to worry about the doorway, it's fine. <laughs> but um, now we'll have to go ahead and uh, maneuver the uh, processes over to that new server. And there we go. So now we're only using 5% of the load of the server. You see? Uh, more print jobs. See, my luck is a little wrong on this one. We've only had the two total coming in, and sometimes it's hit or miss. Sometimes you'll get more, sometimes you'll get less. That happens, but the more you can get, the better. Okay, let's see. Aha, there we go, another hosting. We will definitely take that. And we'll wait another month to see the results of that new hosting. Okay, see, we do have a design job coming in. We can go ahead and maybe accept that, just to get a little bit of extra and it does show that we won't be able to complete the contract but we can at least do the work for some and get that little bit of extra coming in so as you can see now we have made what $51,000 in the month that's pretty good money <laughs> for doing absolutely nothing okay so this is a good way that you can ramp up your starting cash for your company. Um, and again, the more you can manage to get those hosting deals coming in, the more money you'll be making each month, as long as you have enough server space to cover um, the room. And with these three jobs, my server load is only about 6%. I hope that this trick is a little bit helpful for you. It's a good way, again, to kind of buffer things. And if you're in easy mode, you get even more money. The only thing that you need to be concerned about with this method is that you have um, reasonably priced internet bills uh, because it is dependent, you know, the amount of profit that you get is dependent on your internet bill. The um, more your internet costs are the less profit overall you'll make you'll still make profit one way or the other but the less of the profit margin it'll be so um places like in the rural area the profit margin is a little bit less because the rural area has more expensive internet if you're in the city uh the internet prices are a lot better so you can make even more profit off of these deals so Hopefully you guys liked this video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button and uh, subscribe to this channel because we do come out with new content every day and I'd love to have you guys join in with my little family here. In the meantime, thank you so much for tuning in. Keep safe out there, have fun, and thank you so much as always for watching. We'll talk to you again later. <laughs> This land is his land, and none else are welcome. Enemy sighted! Guys, they're here! Okay. Oh, I don't know. Where'd you come from? <laughs>